Are you looking to invest in a vacation home close to Walt Disney World? Well, I have a great option for you. Today we are in Windsor K, which is a brand new vacation home community in Claremont, Florida. This model just opened a couple days ago, so you are getting your exclusive first look. Today we are in the seashore floor plan. This is a seven bedroom, five and a half bathroom home, and it's a little bit over 3,200 square feet. And you're gonna have to stay tuned if you wanna know the price of this home, but let's go take a look. So as we are touring this home, I am gonna throw a few tidbits about short-term rentals and investing in vacation homes because it's important that you understand what you're getting into if you're going to purchase a home like this. So first thing I wanna point out, this is a short-term rental vacation home community only. So what that means is these homes cannot be lived in residentially. And as a matter of fact, you can't even use them for your own personal vacation more than 90 days out of the year. So if you're looking for a private oasis in Florida, Florida for your own family vacations. If you're planning on staying more than 90 days a year, this is not the neighborhood for you. There are some in Central Florida that accommodate you staying longer, but this is not the one. So I just wanted to point that out. Now, first we are walking into this open floor concept and we have this giant kitchen. This big kitchen island and things like this are important in vacation homes like this because it gives larger groups places to sit. So not only do you have this kitchen table, but you also have the island for additional seating. When people are here on vacation, they wanna spend time together, they wanna gather. So I'll point out a couple of things that are gonna work in your favor for that as well. Now, as far as what is included with this home, as far as appliances go, this builder only includes the dishwasher, the microwave, and the oven. So the refrigerator and the washer and dryer, you will have to provide for yourself. There is the opportunity to add it on in the design center if you wanted to, or you can bring it yourself after closing. So just to give you an idea of what comes standard with the home, Additionally, a home like this is fully customized. So this builder is offering two different types of builds in this community. So they have the fully custom homes where you can pick the lot, you pick the floor plan, and you pick all of the finishes, or a spec home that's already designed before you purchase it. So if you are purchasing a home from the ground up that you're building, keep in mind that a lot of the stuff in here is considered an upgrade and it's going to cost you more money in the design center. So anyway, now that we're moving on over here, um, as I pointed out earlier, gathering space is super important in these vacation homes. So this is a great size living room. You know, there's plenty of room for the family to hang out, whether on the table or on these chairs here, but there is additional gathering space in this home as well, which I'll show you later. So there's tons of room for everyone to kind of hang out. Now we're gonna head over down here because there is only one bedroom in this home on the first floor. So that's important to know, you know, if you are purchasing this, purchasing this home and you have a larger family that wants to visit and more than one family member is not able to make it up the stairs, there is only one bedroom down here. Luckily, this bedroom does feature an ensuite bathroom as well, which is super nice if you have a family member that's looking for a little bit more privacy. But we've got this full shower, bathtub, dual vanities, and also there is a door out to the pool as well. So that person would have easy access to the pool and you could even use this as a pool bathroom as well if you wanted to. Further down this hallway, we've got a half bathroom. So this would be used, you know, if the people staying in that room don't want people using their bathroom. This would be the general gathering bathroom. And then further on, we have the laundry room. As a reminder, washer and dryer are not included. Here we've got a two car garage. Something else to point out about garages, vacation homes really don't need garages because most people are either Ubering or they're using a rental car, so they don't really care if it's out in the elements. So a lot of times in these homes, you'll see people convert these garages into game rooms or theaters. So that's another way to kind of make your short-term rental listing stick out. And before we head upstairs, I'm gonna show you the pool. So one of the cool things about this community is every single home includes a pool with the price of the home. So that means when you are moving into this home, the pool is already there, so you don't have to worry about hiring someone to put in the pool after the fact. Unfortunately, due to safety regulations, they have to put that baby fence up around the pool so it doesn't look as pretty, but this one has a pool and a little spa, so nice and pretty. Obviously, having a private pool is a huge 
um, incentive for people to rent your listing as well. So having private pools is really important in the short term rental market. And like I said, every single home in this community comes with a pool already. Out here, we also have some additional gathering space. Um, things like this outdoor kitchen, that is absolutely going to be considered an upgrade in the design center, so just keep that in mind. But having something like this is pretty essential in a short-term rental because people want to hang outside. It's Florida. As we're heading upstairs, I do want to just take a quick moment to introduce myself because somehow I have not done that yet. If case you're new here, my name is Carly with Real Broker and I'm the Enchanted Agent, your Central Florida Disney loving realtor. So whether you want to invest in a vacation home over here or you're looking to make a move closer to the magic, reach out and let's find your happily ever after. Anyway, let's continue the tour. So now we're gonna go upstairs and I'm gonna point out some other um, really great gathering space. So we can get into that. But one more thing before we head up, Sarah's, in case you have never done a new construction purchase before, I have two things I want to talk about really quickly. First and foremost, if you don't know what a realtor's role is in new construction or why it's important to have your own representation, I did film a video that's five reasons it's essential to use a realtor for new construction. So I'm going to go ahead and link that up here and it'll also be in the description below if you wanted to revisit that later. Additionally, if you've never purchased a new construction home before and you just don't really know what it is or what to expect, I have a free new construction guide that I can send you that goes over all things new construction. Just send me an email and I'll send that over to you. All right, let's continue upstairs. Now that we're upstairs, the upstairs features this large loft. So this is a great gathering area. Again, I mentioned how important that kind of thing is. These are really good too, because if you have a large family that's renting this vacation home, maybe the adults want to stay downstairs and hang out and the kids want to come up here. It just creates a bunch of different gathering spaces, which is great. Um, they have this kind of set up as like a theater, you know, second living room situation. A lot of people will put some games up here like air hockey or foosball or something like that. So these are really customizable, but having something like this in your vacation home is really going to be essential in making your listings stand out against the thousands of other listings in the Central Florida area. Before we check out the rest of this home, let's go down to the office and let's talk about the location and the amenities in this community. Let's talk about the location of this community. So we are in Claremont, Florida, but we're right here, right off Highway 27. So this highway has pretty much anything you need, restaurants, entertainment, shopping. Additionally, we're only about 15 minutes away from Walt Disney World Resort, um, and you don't even have to get on I-4 to get there. So that's why I think this community is a fantastic location. Okay, so since this is a resort style vacation community, they're gonna have a ton of these awesome vacation amenities here. So I just wanted to show off, here's some renderings of what the future amenity sites are going to look like and the list of amenities that they have is so long that I'm just gonna read it right off the board because there's just too many to remember so we're gonna have a main pool that's gonna have a zero entry beach seating sun shelves they're gonna have a splash pad um, a spa a lazy river a double slide they're gonna have things like cabana rentals, outdoor drink station, and a restaurant here, a fitness center, and guys, so much more that I can't even fit into this video. So although the HOA is pretty high, they are gonna have a lot of great amenities for you or your guests to enjoy. As promised, let's get into some pricing, but first a disclaimer, new construction pricing changes almost daily, so if you're watching this video, please reach out to me so I can get you the most up-to-date pricing. Also keep in mind that this pricing is base pricing, it does not include things like lot premiums or upgrades in the design center. But when I filmed this video, the starting base price of this home was $724,990. And here's the exact moment that this home caught my heart. You guys, they had an Eras Tour themed bedroom and I am such a Swifty. I absolutely love this room. Leave me a comment. What is your era? Because mine is reputation always. Now we'll 
will just continue to tour the rest of the bedrooms in this home. As a reminder, there is only one bedroom on the first floor and the remaining six are on the second floor. Now, most of these bedrooms either have an ensuite bathroom or they have a shared bathroom in between them. If you're watching this video just because the house is pretty, but you're not interested in purchasing a vacation home, guess what? I also do new construction for just residential homes. I do resale homes. So if you are looking to move closer to the magic, even if you're not looking to buy a vacation home, I would absolutely love to help you in your journey. That concludes the tour of this beautiful home. If you have any questions about this home or just investing in a vacation home or about anything in Central Florida, all you have to do is send me an email or call me and text me. All of my contact info is right at the end of this video and I'm happy to answer any questions that you may have. By the way, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I do post two new tours a week and you're not gonna wanna miss out. So if you are ready to make a move closer to the magic, reach out and let's find your happily ever after.